Uh, hi, I'm Rakesh Joshi. Uh, I'm an Indian music composer, teacher, singer based in Manchester and uh, doing Indian music teaching over the last 25 years. Let's decide the sequence. One, two, three. You see what's the sound of tabla. You will demonstrate and then you will learn our composition. Okay? It's really great uh, working with the children. I, I, I teach young children, I teach adults as well and work with uh, Indian musicians, Western musicians and I like collaboration as well. So that's my speciality. Uh, I always like creative music. You two are not singing from mind, you are singing from your heart. I can see that. So, well done, both of you. It's Alia. Yeah. And? and they really work very hard, got engaged in the session over the last eight to ten weeks. They prepared so many good compositions, different rhythm cycle. The language is new for them, music style is new for them. But children were very dedicated, very passionate about it, learning. Sometimes it's challenging, but uh, I like to accept challenge um, and prepare them to, to teach them different Indian music rhythm, rhythm cycle, different raga, different folk songs. I like to um, like playing play, play, like the, the instrument because like really fascinating and different types of, types of drums and like the uh, instruments like the organ ones I really liked. I like music a lot and I think if I expanded my knowledge about music it helped me. I just thought of learning something new because I like music and I wanted to learn a new kind of music. I felt like I could try new you know like instruments and stuff like different instruments not like the one that um, we play now like different instruments from like different countries around the world tonight children performed uh, two compositions one a sanskrit song and one is a percussion piece which which was set to the eight rhythm cycle so i enjoyed te teaching them over the last 10 weeks and uh, yeah it was a great experience working with them I performed uh, one of the classical composition um, and one of the folk tune on harmonium and pianica. I think I first time after it's renewed after a long time and uh, it was a great experience today. Yeah. <laughs> My name's Jason Singh. Um, I'm a sound artist, beatboxer, um, composer, and I've been doing this project as part of Sounds of India. Um, and I was asked by Jonathan Lewis to, yeah, play a set um, in the newly opened Band on the Wall. It was incredible to look, sort of bring together musicians that I've worked with for a long time, um, and yeah, just create something to share with with people that I've known and love in Manchester. Yeah, um, well, 
Well, the musicians that, that I've brought together for this project um, have been pretty amazing, actually, because I wanted to work with people who, who I feel like have the ability to have a dialogue with them through music um, and through improvisation. So um, it was Alan Keary on bass, and um, Alan is just a person who I have 100% confidence in. So like, no matter what the situation, whether it's a kind of experimental, free, improvised gig, or whether it's, you know, written music with arrangements and rehearsals, I always know that whatever happens with Alan, it's going to be cool, you know. And so I wanted him on the gig. <laughs> <laughs> Alan Carey! We had Jadev Mystery um, on guitar, and Jadev I've known since I've moved to Manchester. Um, and we have a very close relationship, both personally and through music. Um, music education, performances, collaborations, um, promoting club nights, all sorts of stuff that, we, that we've done. <laughs> Livy George on keys um, and Liv I've known for quite a long while but we've never had the opportunity to play um, so this was this was actually um, one of those moments where I was like okay if there's anybody that I'd like to have on keys who I haven't actually really collaborated with before you know extensively then it would be Liv. <laughs> And then there was Liz Hanks on cello. And I've only again met Liz recently because I've done a remix for one of her records that's coming out. And we're sort of signed to the same label. And, and then Andy from Hudson Records was like, there's this amazing cellist. And I'd heard about Liz. So uh, I got Liz on the project because I just think she's sick. And there was Armina B, the poet. Um, and Armina I worked with um, for a short time last year on a project that I was doing with Manchester City Council. As a poet, you know, as a writer, when I heard her lyrics and I heard the vibe that she was bringing to things, I just thought, actually, she's the newest person, you know, that I've met who is grown up in Manchester and is doing her thing as a creative in this city. And I just thought it'd be brilliant to have her speak, you know, share her poetry. <laughs> has India had on me um, well it's played a you know it plays a massive part in, in my life but it's a uh, and it, and it, and it also, also creates a lot of discussion and conversation you know when people can't really place who you are and what you are and what you do and that's why with the sounds of India project I wanted to bring something that was a little bit different to sort of get people thinking about well what is Indian classical music what is Indian music what is what are the sounds of India what does that even mean do you know what I mean? You know, musically, the sounds of India, as much as listening to millions of cars in Bombay 24 hours a day, that informs my musical soundscape as much as listening to a tabla solo or music that's, that's known, you know, in the Indian repertoire. So it's all a, it's a crazy mishmash. mishmash. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Alison Kelly. Alan Kelly on bass. Ruby Jaws on keys. And Armia B for spoken word poetry. Thank you so much. You've been absolutely beautiful. Thank you.